the Rams have new uniforms, and man, they're not good. They're not good. They're copycats. I can't even say. I can't even talk about them having new uniforms without laughing. It's bad. Wait, copycats of who? We're Two words about... come to mind, and it's a, a it's like a electronic appliance store, if you know what oh. I mean. <laughs> okay. Well, you Best got buy. You got Best Buy. I got one word for you, Blake, and another sort of uh, kind of kind of industry. IKEA. IKEA too. Yeah. It's uh, the, the uniforms from top to bottom are bad. The 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 little shoulders. It's eh. Uh, the the yeah. plastic, the shiny plastic that outlines the numbers. Not good. It it. it the numbers itself on the home, it's a gradient yellow. We saw the Falcons jerseys. They're they're like red and black ones with a gradient yeah. red. Awful look. We already said. It almost it almost looks like a worse version of an XFL jersey. The XFL had better jerseys than this. Yeah, you know? But but they were like kind of neonish, you know? A lot of colors were like really bright and mm-hmm. like captivating. But the dragons, is, the dragons with that neon yeah. green. Yeah. But this is just bad. I, I'm a really big fan of their original uniforms, like kind of the darkish, you know, navy blue. Oh, the ones that and, the, the royal blue that they were rocking the gold, last year. Yeah, yes. and the gold and stuff. Those like, ones were like awesome. The actual gold. Yeah, I really I enjoy these are, uniforms. That's the way to go. Like if they if they like just update them a little bit to I guess match their new look, but pretty much use those same uniforms and made them the the new all um, all time home uniforms, that would have been the right decision. I don't know if, if I'm just a hater of yellow, but I mean, there's other teams that have yellow, like Steelers and Chiefs. I don't hate it all that much. But they don't just have, like, fluorescent yellow. The Steelers is mostly I mean, black with a touch of yellow. bright-ass blue and bright-ass yellow. It just Man. doesn't look right. And are... what what Ram What Ram is freaking bright blue and yellow, dude? Ooh, I don't, I've never seen what... a blue Ram. If, if we want to talk about how bad yellow jerseys look, let's go back to the Broncos' mustards. When their original uniform looked from the '60s, you remember the the mustard yellow with the brown and white, almost as bad as the Bucks. Yellow is not a good look, and they just roll with it. But and then their away jerseys, they're not even white. They're the only team in the league that doesn't have a white jersey because it's not white, Blake. It's bone. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, then, it's honestly not good. Maybe the worst part about that uniform is you've seen on the. Left chest, there is a tag that says Los Angeles Rams. Why do you need that? Why do you need a tag that says Los Angeles Rams like we don't know who you are? You already have the LA or Rams or whatever above the numbers by um, in between on the collarbone. Why do you need something on the left side, Blake? Who? Don't know. Who? We need names. We need names. We need contact information. We need emails. We need phone numbers. Who the hell is a part and running this this Los Angeles Rams design department? Because this logo has been awful. These jerseys have been awful. The color scheme, awful. Everything they're doing right now is not good. And this isn't even just coming from, from us. It's coming from fans. It's coming from football pundits. It's even coming from legend and Hall of Famer Eric Dickerson himself. Bad look. Bad look all the way around. And there's no there's no other way to put it. It's just not good. And, Blake, I really got a feel for Rams fans because they got a bad new, new logo, bad new uniforms, a struggling team that has been the same ever since Bill Belichick scheme, um, scheme screwed them in the Super Bowl. And now they got this amazing stadium, which does look really nice, by the way. Have you seen how big that little – that 360 Oculus screen is going to be. That yeah, thing is massive. That stadium is going to look awesome, and they're not even going to probably be able to play in it this season because LA shut down another three months all the way through summer. My thoughts are with you, Rams fans. I truly, honestly, not even being sarcastic, I legitimately feel bad for each and every one of you. Same might go for the Chargers fans. All four of you as well. My thoughts are with you.